Everybody, it's Tyler here at Michigan State Championships checking out team number 1718, the Fighting Pie. I have Evan and Ben here, and you got to check out this robot. Uh, not, of course, it lights up, you can see that too, but the design that goes into this robot. I'm talking about your intake indexer shooter climber. It's just looking absolutely phenomenal. MSC having a great performance so far, so can't wait to get more into this robot coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. So let's start out on this robot talking about your uh, intake here. Love to hear about uh, not just what it is, but how did you come up with what you have and then any iterations you might have gone through too. Okay, starting off at first, um, for our intake this year, we wanted it to be able to center the balls into the middle of the intake so it can come in really smoothly. So that's why we have these mechanism wheels that we 3D printed in one piece. So it's really easy to just make them on the 3D printer and have a lot of spares. And um, we also have this bar that grips the balls very well. Um, so if it even touches it, it'll just suck it in. And um, this is probably one of the best intakes we've had as far as just getting anything in front of us. It also has these hydraulic shocks that come down and it'll have it where the intake floats. It's in brake road right now, so we can't really see that. And uh, when we bring the intake down, um, it spins really fast. Um, so like it'll come in really fast and we intake as fast as we possibly can. Um, we also have proc sensors for our indexing system right here. And we have two right there and one in the back. So it senses where the ball is and moves it up. So whenever the ball sees it right there, it'll spin it and move it up towards the kick-up wheel in our indexing system. So I have the two balls in there, and we know exactly where they are so we can get ready to shoot. Look, real quick before we go into that, let's ask you a couple of things on here. I, I have a question on your intake. What is this dead wheel actually used for? Um, at first, with our intake, we didn't have this dead wheel, and sometimes it, it'll be a dead zone in the middle of our intake sure. where it'll just float and spin in circles. So we just added that. Um, it's just a uh, Lexan plate with a wheel on the end of it. We, did, we used cardboard originally, but that didn't work. We just wanted to throw something together real fast. Fair enough. And then do you guys do anything with like color sensing in regards to like different types of cargo coming in? Um, we had a color sensor originally, but we had issues with like sensing what color it is from far out. Sure. Because we had it right here and it pointed outwards and it just had trouble picking it up. And we didn't really feel a need for it because we can see the balls pretty well with uh, the camera. And then, yeah, let's hop into your uh, your shooter and talk to me about a little bit more on the uh, design for that. So you guys have gone the uh, sword drive with the turret as well, too. I'd love to hear about, like, uh, from your team, why is that the best fit uh, going for your team on Fighting Pie? Uh, moving on to our shooter, uh, we have the turret and the hood system. Uh, we have that so that we can use our limelight, and it automatically tracks for us. So we can just be positioned in the general location of the uh, the hub, and then that will help us be more accurate and faster in our shooting. Uh, that combined with the swerve, that makes it so that we can, um, that makes it so we can uh, shoot more precisely and not have to rotate our robot around multi like multiple revolutions just to get us straight. Sure. We just point in the direction and we're good. You guys got a really beefy flywheel on this. I uh, love because this might be one of the heaviest I've seen uh, so far. So do you keep that running the entire match or like why, uh, when you're doing like calculations for like where you want to shoot from, uh, how did this route path out for you? Uh, we actually spin it up as we're going to shoot. Okay. Uh, the bigger flywheels ha have us um, make it easier so that we can keep the second ball closer shot and be a faster shoot overall and the smaller wheels on the back over here those wheels uh help prevent the backspin of the ball and then talk to me just a little bit more about your uh, your gearing on your hood here and if we can show maybe yeah. the, the hood and the turret moving around would be fantastic too yeah uh if i'll move the robot back a little bit we can do our low shot there so that shows our turret shooting and then uh then we can just um pull the hood up this shows uh, our water jetted gear over here. We water, had this water jetted so it's more precise and we could have a more accurate shooting system. 
Let's wrap up on your robot, talking about your climber here. I'd uh, love to hear more about uh, how it's been working out for you, your timing, and then if we can show a demonstration of the climber sequence too. Yeah. All the numbers are accurate. So our climbing, uh, we have the uh, folding arms that fold out and then they go up to the bar so that it helps us uh, stay more compact in our robot and be more able to have a bigger space for our balls going through our robot. And then those folding arms come down and then these passive hooks fold back and then go back around the bar to lock on. And that lets us go up to the next bar and then up to traversal. Uh, so let's talk about some of the stages. I know you're not fully prepped as you're getting ready for next match. So just talk to me about uh, in regards to the stages we can show off. Okay, so our arms will fold out and they will, um, this is our pounce stage. So this is getting ready for climb. On our way to climb, we'll go into this stage so that we can be uh, almost ready to go to climb and stay in our package before we get there. And then once we get to the climb zone, these arms will go straight and all the way up, go to the mid bar, and then those will pull down, these passive hooks will slide back and then around the mid bar, and then those will lock on so then we can release these hooks, and then those hooks can go up and grab the next bar, pull, and then these hooks will slide right off and go to the next bar and then all the way up to traversal. Well, Fighting Pie, we really appreciate you taking the time. Your, your team has been building robots really well for quite a few years, and this year, definitely no exception. So uh, we wish you best of luck here at MSC, and can't wait to see you perform. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. First, alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.